Well, it was a wild night for a criminal on the eastern shore this past weekend. Police say not one, but two stores were broken into, and an ATM was tied up and then dragged out of a store by a truck. All right, here we go. ABC 2's Don Harrison says police have a pretty good security footage uh, with this, and they hope they can catch a thief now because of it. Shattered glass and a busted wall is what's left after thieves broke into this short stop, a gas station and convenience store on Ken Island. They were after an ATM just inside the door. That's crazy. Some call it crazy. Others might question their decision making. ATMs are heavy. They're made of steel. I mean, you got to put a lot of effort in to get a little bit of money out. You know, not a bright move to take an ATM from a business. Queen Anne's County Sheriff Gary Hoffman says a witness saw the men trying to illegally withdraw money from this ATM and tried to catch the robbers. He was unsuccessful and did the right thing by backing off because the speed became too high. The would-be robbers didn't get too far with the money machine. Police say after breaking into the store and ripping the ATM out of there, they found it here, about 100 feet from the shore stop. Right over here on the corner of our property on the parking lot, they it was sitting there. Steve Garland is the owner of Big Bats, a restaurant right next door to the shore stop where the ATM was. Well, it tells you that they're maybe really smart, maybe not. So uh, we'll see with that. But uh, it's, it's desperate times for desperate people. And uh, so we have to address that in a different way, too. It didn't seem like their night of crime was over. About 45 minutes later at a gas station in Cambridge, which is about a 40-minute drive from the ATM robbery on Kent Island. An ATM was stolen from a pep-up in Cambridge. Well, putting two and two together, I mean, we believe they're related. Police have good security footage of the truck. They say it's a dark or gray pickup truck. If you do this kind of crime, especially if you do it in Queen Anne's County, you're going to get caught. On Kent Island, Don Harrison, ABC2 News. You know, Don found out today that police would not tell him how much money was taken, but those familiar with an ATM say you can have close to $20,000 in the machine, but most are stocked with less than $1,000.